वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट को वेरियंस फॉर अ पॉपुलेशन डेटा देर इज नॉट मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ अ सिंपल को वेरियंस एंड अ पॉपुलेशन को वेरियंस बट लेट अस स्टडी इट सेपरेटली वी हैव अ पॉपुलेशन डेटा ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स x एंड y x takes these different values and y takes these different values as we know first we have to calculate the population means that means x bar and y bar we get the total of variable x as 144 divided by the population size 8 and ultimately we get the x bar or mean of x 80 similarly the we get summation of population y as 280 Again, divide it by the population size eight, and ultimately we get the value of population mean of y, that is y bar thirty five. Now the next step is to obtain the deviations from arithmetic mean. First, let us get for x x minus x bar eight minus eighteen minus ten thirteen minus eighteen minus five fifteen minus eighteen minus three seventeen minus eighteen minus one. 20 minus 18 positive 2, 22 minus 18 positive 4, 24 minus 18 positive 6, and 25 minus 18 positive 7. See a uh, small thing. When the value of the variable is less than mean, we get the negative deviation x minus x bar. And when the value of the variable is greater than mean, we get the positive deviation. This is very small thing, but for the correctness of our calculations, it is remarkable. The summation of the positive deviations comes to positive 19, and summation of the negative deviations comes to negative 19. 19 minus 19, it is zero. That means all values are correct. We can believe that. In the same way, now we have to find out the deviations from mean for the variable y. The population value of y are this, and from each and every value, we need to subtract y bar. That is 35. 25 minus 35 minus 10. 30 minus 35 minus 5. 32 minus 35 minus 3. 30 minus 35 minus 5. 36 minus 35 positive 1. 40 minus 35 5. 42 minus 35 7. And 45 minus 35 10. Again, we can observe that when the variable takes values less than mean, we have negative deviations. And similarly, when the variable takes values greater than Mean there are positive deviations. The positive deviations give total positive twenty three. Negative deviations give total minus twenty three. Ultimately, the grand total comes to zero. That means again we can believe that all these values are correct. So we can go forward as we have all the correct deviations. Now the simple step is product of the deviations taken from mean. That means we need to multiply these two. X minus x bar into y minus y bar. Minus 10 into minus 10 positive 100. Minus 5 into minus 5 positive 25. Minus 3 into minus 3 positive 9. Minus 1 into minus 5 positive 5. 2 into 1 2. 4 into 5 20. 6 into 7 42. And 7 into 10 70. Ultimately, we get the total 273. Now we have all the two required factors: sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar. That means summation of the products of the deviations taken from mean. And the population size eight. So now we can calculate the population covariance. Sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by just population size, not subtract one. Two hundred seventy-three divided by eight. So population covariance comes to approximately thirty four point one two five. You can take the value in single or two decimal according to your choice or the institute in which you follow the rule. So the remarkable thing is we need to divide. The summation of the products of the deviations by n only when we calculate the covariance for a population data or population covariance. Only difference is in case of sample covariance, we need to divide it by n minus one. 
in case of population covariance we need to divide by n number of observations and the say sign is capital it is nothing but it is not much important for population i am habituated to use sign of capital letters or big letters nothing else so that's all for calculation of population covariance i hope you can understand this thank you